Hey guys, Vincent Jell here. So today we're going to go hit a few thrift shops, uh, see if we can find some cool VHS and stuff like that. So why don't we get to it right away here. Let's so get going. Uh, like I said, hopefully we find some cool stuff. It's a nice day out today and uh, let's head out. Jeez. Dude. The Shiatsu Shaman. How are you? Good. I want to do a review. What? I want to do a review. Well, I was just heading out to some thrift shops, see if I can find some VHS. Dude. Mutilator. What? Unrated or rated? Unrated, brother. Unrated. Come on in, my friend. Let's go. Okay, guys, well, sorry about that. So I guess we're not going to be doing a thrift shop uh, today, but uh, we'll probably just review the Mutilator here, and uh, we will get up and set All right, up. guys, so I guess we're doing a review on the uh, Mutilator today. It yeah. doesn't look like I have much choice. So uh, nope. cool pickup, though, VHS there. there um, so yeah, anybody who doesn't know about the Mutilator, this is what the cover used to look like back in the day, if you guys remember this, but uh, awesome. Now, this is the unrated tape. You know, there was an unrated version of this VHS, uh, and the, the one with the blue box down on the bottom here was the rated version. So I was lucky enough to find this, uh, the unrated copy here. Uh, you know, 50 cent charge, rewind, fee, all that <laughs> stuff. But this is one of the greats, uh, you know, for various reasons. Um, is it overrated? Eh, maybe some people think it is. Maybe I do at times, maybe sometimes I don't. I don't know, it's kind of, it's a, it's a classic though. I mean, I think what really is, is classic is that cover. One of the all-time greats, just yep. uh, four people hung up on meat hooks or what have you, on hooks on a, on a cover. I mean, you don't. I mean, can you imagine walking in a store nowadays exactly. and seeing a cover like that? I mean, it wouldn't happen. No, um, for various reasons. But uh, yeah, yeah so, so great. Uh, filmed by Buddy Cooper. Uh, so yeah, Mutilator. Um, you know, it's kind of your typical genre slasher. It was kind of later in the slasher cycle, 1985. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was also titled Fall Break. I think on the Blu-ray, uh, it, it, the, there's, there's Fall Break is the title. Yep. Um, I kind of don't mind it because, you know, it's, a, it's almost like a Thanksgiving kind of a feel. Maybe a little bit before Thanksgiving, but it's kind of like a fall break, you know, at college. And uh, it, 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 it made sense for what the students were, were doing in the movie. So yeah, yeah. it worked. Yeah. It worked. The Mutilator just sounds better. Yeah, it sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> you got to right, fall break or Mutilator? <laughs> well, oh. Yeah, no, it, yeah. hands down. <laughs> well said. Uh, this was filmed at Atlantic Beach, North Carolina, a little bit yeah. north of uh, Wilmington, beautiful little place, uh, you know, in the States or wherever you get down in North Carolina. Uh, filmed on a $450,000 budget, hmm. which is pretty mo yeah, mo moderate. Very, for, pretty, very, very small budget. Yeah. yeah. Even for it looks back, better than that. Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, it does. Yeah. From back in the day, uh, yeah. you know. Uh, and the other thing, just before we really get into it, is the other thing I found kind of, it's right off the beginning, is the music selection is kind of curious. It kind of reminded me, like, I thought, am I watching Porky's? Or is Fall Break, you know, like a Porky's kind of thing? I mean, I knew it's not, but you know what I mean? It, it did. It had that vibe of, I, I, I kind of was even thinking, is this like Full House or something? Yeah, like, yeah. A, like a comedy sitcom kind of feel, the music? Get that. Um, it was like a really glaring... Difference from what the movie is. <laughs> yeah, like no synth or like, you know, strings or yeah. like uh, like drone kind of ambient sounds or nothing. It was just, nope. yeah, it was, so you're not sure upbeat. what you Upbeat. Yeah. Upbeat. There was like full house-ish kind yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. So that threw me in the beginning. Yeah. Um, yeah. Other than that, that's about my only kind of complaint yeah. would be the music. Other than that, I love this movie. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, there's some, uh, I, you know, I haven't seen the rated version in a while. I think some yeah. of the gore is, is a lot less in it. But, uh, yeah, just, there's a lot of interesting things, a lot of cool kills in there. The one thing I'm, I mean, I, I'm kind of a snob when it comes out. I mean, I, I like that my killers to have a mask. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I guess just, you know, starting way back when, Friday the 13th and stuff. But, you know, this one he doesn't. You kind of see the guy's face, um, and you kind of... I mean, I kind of figured who the guy was all along. I, oh, yeah. Sure. He doesn't, he doesn't do, right? really make it like a, a, it's not a murder mystery. You know who the no. killer is. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, but, it's, it's, yeah, it's good. Uh, you know, and I think they just sort of amplified the gore uh, just to, to crank up the intensity because you mm -hmm. do kind of see the guy's face and you kind of know, you know, what's what's going on. And it's not. You really, know why. You're like, yeah. Yeah. You, you know, and you know, it's not really a huge reveal at the end or anything. No, nope, not at all. It's just, yeah, it's like pent up rage, revenge flick. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, I, and, you know, I guess, um, I, I wonder with the father, like, was he, you know, without giving too much away, I mean, is, was he, like, just, like, just drunk, kind of, at the time when he was doing it? Because they showed him drinking a lot. 
Like I know he's a psycho and he's issues and his son yeah, and they, the whole they, thing. They give you the illusion that that he's a bit of a drunk. Um, in the beginning, when uh, the son's cleaning his guns and stuff, it was almost like, "Look at me, daddy, I'm a good boy." So yeah. maybe the dad's a bit of a mean guy too, and the son's kind of you know trying to get in his dad's good graces and stuff. Okay, that makes sense. That goes horribly wrong. Yeah, <laughs> it sets the the movie up really. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, no, because I'm kind of wondering about that. Like he's. Obviously, he's still, you know, disturbed from the whole incident and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But, you know, why it took 20 years, you know, it looked like he was cleaning up his place and like you see all these, these bottles all over the place. Yeah. It looked like he just kind of went off on a deep end and had a bender. Yeah, that's right. And started right. to kind of, uh, you know... Unhinge. Unhinge, you know. And, but, I mean, how about the kills in this thing? Yeah. I mean, you know, that that gaffing hook scene is one, <laughs> of, the, one of the all-time... I, I don't think oh, that's in the boy. rated... I mean, this is in the unrated version and, and it's just, uh, you know... It's pretty intense. Yeah, I mean, use your imagination... Where this hook goes. Yep. But uh, that woman is not in for a pleasant ride there, you know, midway through the film. Mm. <laughs> it's not good. Mm -mm. Yeah, like it's it's pretty, I mean, that's, you know, that's a pretty hardcore imagery there. Yep. No, that was, that was hardcore. Um, his pitchfork uh, was pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You always have to have a good pitchfork scene. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and there's uh, yeah, quite a few good kills in this thing. The gore is really good, too. There is. Um, <clears throat> you know, Go ahead. there's not a lot of cat and mouse in this. Um, he just basically picks them off pretty readily. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of stalking. No. Not a lot of stalking. He's, he's just waiting. He's, he's, he's waiting ready to go. Yeah. Um, for the movie. Um, it takes place in a pretty confined space, so you're not having to worry about too many different locations. It's all... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. And that's, mm -hmm. that's what makes it kind of fun, and it's like a, you know, a typical slasher. Yeah. Um, the one thing I, I, I was going to say is that when they're playing that blind man's bluff game, yeah, I kind of, you know, it, it's the, the light, like, it, we get it, you can't see in the dark, and or, or, I mean, sorry, you, you know, it's supposed to be look like they can't see what's, what's right. going on. Yeah. But I mean, they're walking around. It's I'm pretty sure it's like a, a daylight coming through the windows. But I mean, I get that. There was daylight coming through the windows. It was hard for me to get into that scene. Yeah, like they're they're walking around like they can't see what's happening. But it's it's you like know they can. the whole scene is lit up. Yeah, it's like what? Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> I can't see this guy. Yeah, you can. I'm like what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> like, that was the one thing. I'm like I don't know who was in charge of that scene. It had some it. chuckle moments. Yeah, it did. The great gore. Yeah, really good. This is fantastic. Who did the gore in this one? That's a great question. Um, I do not know off the top here. Special makeup effects artist Mark Schostrom looks mm -hmm. back at one of his earliest projects. So there's a bunch of extras. So I'm not I'm not too familiar with with him. Interesting. But, but yeah, did I mean, a great it, job. They did a good job. No, it, it really was. Yep. Um, and there's there's quite a few uh, documentaries on this here. Uh, Fall Breakers: The Story of the Mutilator. It's a brand new feature length documentary. Am I even on camera here? Yeah. Uh, Mutilator Memories, uh, interviews with, you know, Buddy Cooper, the director, alternate opening scenes, I believe that's, you know, show you like the Mutilator versus the, uh, alternate opening title, sorry, uh, you know, it'll say the Mutilator instead of Fall Break. This yeah. one, the main version I think shows Fall Break. It does. Uh, it's got the screenplay, reversible sleeve, stuff like that, um, English subtitles, of course, uh, yeah, audio commentaries as well. Like this is a good disc, um, uh, put out by Arrow. So I mean, if you can find this, track it down. But I'll tell you, just for pure nostalgia, guys, if you can find a, a nice sun-washed-out copy of the VHS floating around, I mean, pick it up for sure. I mean, look at that kid yeah. in the back. I mean, it's, it's I would have rented that back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you'd have to. That's I mean, what I'd be looking for. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Did not disappoint. Yeah, no, it's good stuff. So. Yeah. Hopefully you guys liked that review. Let us know if you've seen you know that, or if you have the rated or unrated version or anything like that. Uh, leave us some comments below. Uh, please subscribe if uh, you're so inclined. We greatly pre appreciate it. And yep. uh, we will catch you guys on the next. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome. A little creepy having you stand at my door, but uh, how long were you out there? Uh, a couple hours. Okay, well, that's not bad. It's not like that other time. Yeah. But anyways, uh, thanks for checking us out, guys, and we'll uh, talk to you guys on the next one.